Uh, Lou, thanks so much for joining me. And uh, I guess start with uh, just the podcast project. You know, uh, you your place in uh, journalism, the echelons you've achieved, uh, certainly secure. But there must have been something in conservative media that uh, you thought still needed an additional voice. So uh, what hole are you plugging in the media with, uh, with this great new project of yours? Well, I'd like to take credit, Matt, for having the uh, the prescience to uh, to have reached out to do a podcast. But uh, frankly, Fox sort of helped me along in that regard. Uh, when when they canceled my show, I started looking for other ways in which to you know to bring a, a message to the uh, to the public arena. And podcasting has been beautiful, as you know, uh, before me. Uh, how how much fun it is, and how effective it is, and what a terrific medium it is. And uh, one of the reasons that I'm having so much fun on our show is because you do join us from time to time, and I appreciate that. Well, I I went on your show on Fox as much for the advice as the exposure, because, you know, you you presented a different Republican voice, you still do, than we typically hear out of the establishment, the neoconservatives, kind of the Wall Street, big business Republicans. You know, as you look at the, the conservative movement now, are we becoming more populist, more uh, nationalist in our economics, or do you fear a reversion to the establishment mean? Yeah, I, I think a, a reversion to, as you call it, the establishment mean, if we're talking about the country as a whole, because the Democrats are decidedly moving us in a direction that is, frankly, it's neo-Marxist, what they're doing. Uh, there is an authoritarian strain to everything that the Democrats are touching. Biden is ruling by fiat. He cannot move things through Congress. So he, uh, as Obama famously uh, put it, uh, he has a phone and a pen. I haven't seen him use the phone except to talk with President Xi, but he uses the pen for an executive order at every opportunity. No matter how many times the courts rebuff him, uh, rebuke him, and reverse him, he continues to plow ahead as if we were not a federalist uh, system of government and as if the courts had very little uh, meaning in American life, when obviously the inverse is the case. Our courts are desperately needed as a check and balance. You know, the Biden regime is wielding an excessive amount of power uh, through that unchecked uh, force. And increasingly, they're getting the help of Republicans in doing so. Uh, what Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger have done on the January 6th committee to target Americans, to target colleagues in Congress, uh, to have these secret investigations and then leaking things out of context to try to smear a political movement. Uh, it's disgraceful. And recently, uh, Mitch McConnell, as well as more than a dozen Republicans in the Senate, actually uh, rebuked the RNC's censure of Cheney and Kinzinger. How should the the base of our movement think about these Republicans who uh, seem to be embracing the tactics and style and substance of the of the Cheneyistas and the Kinzingerites? Yeah, which is a little bit uh, like Che Guevara and Soviet era show trials. Uh, the fact of the matter is, Kinzinger and Cheney should not even be in the Republican Party. I, I personally was disappointed that the Republican leadership didn't have the guts to throw them out. Voting against a president, participating in the uh, January 6th committee, which is outrageous. And as President Trump himself said, there would have been no need of any kind of uh, uh, system of uh, inquiry, if that's what they can call it, uh, if only Nancy Pelosi had listened and as he had requested, put 10,000 National Guard troops on the Hill to help maintain order. That was a huge crowd, as you know. And, uh, and the fact of the matter is, they didn't. The Democrats didn't want those National Guard troops there. And I personally suspect, and this is only my opinion, but it's because they had other ideas for the activists that they had uh, on the Hill who were there to incite uh, and to cause great, great uh, uh, mischief.